when I tell you I had the best weekend of my life, I am not exaggerating. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Marissa. I'm a 2023 bride, part-time wellness content creator, and a pharmacist. This weekend, I had my bachelorette party, and it was so much fun. All my girlfriends from all over the country, literally, my sister flew from Oregon down to Miami. That's literally opposite sides of the country. She came, and I was so glad she did, um, to hang out and just have a good time this weekend. So many different activities. I'll put the agenda on the screen for you. It was a full day. Um, Friday was just like the travel day. Everyone came in. Saturday, we had all the things planned. One of my besties actually planned a yacht trip, which was so much fun. There was like maybe 12 or 15 of us who all got on a yacht. And at first it was a surprise, so I didn't know about it, but then I found out. She actually ended up showing me pictures, but it's totally cool. Um, I don't really like surprises, so I'd rather be prepared anyway. Um, but yeah, then we all got on the yacht and we were there for like three or four hours, just had a great time, just drank, ate, all the fun things, danced the day away. It was so much fun, took lots of pictures and videos and content, all that good stuff. Um, I had a great time, came back, took a little nap, and then we went out to dinner to Komodo, which is one of my favorite restaurants. They didn't have their like dragon thing that normally comes out. I was kind of sad because I wanted to show that to my friends who hadn't experienced that, but it's totally fine. We went out to a couple other bars from there and um, just had a really good time. And then Sunday, we did brunch at the Gianni Versace Mansion in South Beach. Highly recommend. They have a great lunch special, $34 for like your appetizer, your entree, and a dessert. It has all the vibes. It's very cute, aesthetic, great for pictures, all that type of thing. And the food was actually pretty good, so I would highly recommend it. And then we went to the Magic Mike live show that night. Oh my God, I'm so glad we ended up going to that because it was a whole experience. They pulled me up on stage. There was so much dancing and like thrusting. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, and it was really cool to experience that like in person, like it's way different from watching the movie on TV. Like you gotta be there. So I highly recommend doing something like that for your bachelorette and just get out of the norm. I didn't think I wanted to do something like that and I'm really glad I did. Um, and before we went to Magic Mike, we actually went to dinner at Paperfish and they have a great happy hour from like four to seven, I think. So like everything is like half off or something, but um, essentially you can order a lot of food for a lot better of a price. And it's just like a really chill, fun spot. If you like sushi, the, that's the place to go in Brickell. We did end up going to the beach on Monday, just me and one of my girlfriends who is still here. I had the day off and I just wanted to like relax and recover from the weekend before going back to work. Highly recommend that. Like your last day should be relaxing, as relaxing as possible so you can feel somewhat refreshed. I feel like I'm still like recovering because I just do not go out and do all those things very regularly. Um, but that Monday we did go to Nikki Beach and it was really cute. I highly recommend getting a reservation because we didn't have beach reservations and like honestly the service there was a little like sketch like people seemed like they didn't actually want to help you I don't know it was a little weird um it was cute but like nothing super special I don't know why people talk it up so much um but if you are wanting to go there definitely do a reservation beforehand I also wanted to show y'all the gift bags that I got for my girls Originally, I wasn't going to do bridesmaids, but then I changed my mind and I decided to do the whole bridesmaids thing. My reservations with this was that I don't have that classic like girlfriend group that, you know, you've known each other forever. Like I wasn't in a sorority or anything like that. All my girlfriends are from different parts of my life. Some from high school, some from college. Um, my sister, obviously I know her all my life. Some people I just met like a few years ago in pharmacy school, but like I see them being a part of my life forever. So all these girls don't know each other. They all come from different areas of the earth and we all came together and actually ended up turning out really well. Everyone just like vibed really well. There wasn't really any drama. No one got sick, no one got lost, nothing like that. Nothing crazy happened. So it was a very successful weekend. When it came to choosing bridesmaids, I looked at like, I was trying to think ahead of time, like looking back, would I have wanted that experience? I didn't want to have that like, what if, or like, I wish I would have done this. So why not do it? I'm only getting married once. And I'm really glad I chose that because a few of my girlfriends actually said this is like the first time they've ever been a bridesmaid. And like, I mean, tears, gosh, like I was like, that makes me feel so happy that I can provide that experience and that you feel special on my big day too. All of them mean the world to me. I have so many friends. You can't pick everyone, unfortunately. 
Um, but yeah, just the people that I've been the closest to. When it comes to picking bridesmaids, you can really make the rules however you want. You can have them dress however you want. You can give them a title, don't have a title, stand up, not stand up, walk down the aisle, not walk down the aisle. Literally whatever you want. Just like make sure your friends know like they're included and that you love them. Totally up to you on how you want to spend your big day, but just know that your girls are going to want to be like by you and support you and you don't want to do that. You don't want to go through that whole process in the morning and everything and the whole day alone. So definitely have your girls with you. Um, however you decide to include them, make them feel special and feel like they're a part of it, um, whatever you decide to do. I also wanted to show some of the gifts that I got from my girlfriends. So I made these really cute hangover kits. Um, I got these off of Etsy. It literally just came like this. These were like 75 cents a piece. And then um, I'm actually on the PR list for Liquid IV and they just happened to send me these really cute like mocktails. It's the cucumber mojito and the smoky mezcal paloma. And I thought these were perfect. So I put two of these in each. I also did a vitamin C. Um, I did an alcohol pad and I don't know where my band-aids are, but I had a band-aid in each of them. And then I also have these like CeraVe and La Roche-Posay samples, which I love. So if they need any moisturizing cream or a face wash and then wet ones. I feel like you can't go wrong with those. Like you never know when you're going to need that. So I had all of this in here. These are the baskets I got from my girlfriends. They were a little bit smaller than what I thought they were going to be, but they honestly were perfect. We took them to the beach um, on Monday and they actually hold quite a few things in here. Um, so I got these clips from Amazon and I got these cups personalized with their names on them. And I did a whole bunch of different colors, like fun, like fiesta themes. Obviously like mine was white. Here's the decorations we got for the weekend. These are from Etsy. We literally spent like the night before everyone came blowing up these balloons and creating the arch and all of that good stuff. And then it also came with these like tassels and there's like a blow up, <laughs> uh, Kenyatta, and then there's also also one of these like blow up cactuses, which is really cute. decorations which I thought was really cute so I know there's other bridesmaid questions out there if you have any of them feel free to send them my way and hopefully I can help you as much as possible the colors for my wedding are black and white so my bridesmaids are all wearing black They're all wearing different styles of dresses but the same color same fabric so that'll look kind of uniform um, I just honestly cannot wait I got them some other things for the day of the wedding and I can also put some clips in here from my proposals to them that way you can see everything I've gotten up to this point. And then I'll also include some of the clips from my bachelorette, just so you can see like what that looked like. Um, but yeah, such fun memories. I am so happy that we had our bachelorette party. Fortunate for us, we didn't actually have to rent a place. Everyone just came and stayed at my place so we could save a little bit of money and it was perfect. <laughs> So that's all I have for now. Um, definitely leave me a comment below or message me on Instagram if you want to get a hold of me a little bit quicker. Until then, I will see you guys next time. This is so cute. The packaging is really good. I'm happy that I did pay a little bit extra for the nice box because otherwise it would have been just like a plain box or I think the other one was like a twill type of wrapping, but I just think this is so cute. And my colors are classic, like black and white with gold accents. So I think the black ribbon fits it perfectly um and then like the personalized touch and everything oh it's just so cute so i cannot wait to give this to her in person i was really wishing i could have like hugged each and every single one of them um giving it to them but um you know obviously we all live in different cities so that's not gonna happen but i will keep you posted on the others reactions Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do like nude or like white. So you should do white shoes because I feel like I don't know. It, you have caramel skin, so it'll look pretty on your skin. Okay. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. 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 Look at Hold on, come here. Let me see. What does it say, Aria? Aria, wish you be my flower girl. Oh, this is cute. Am I gonna cry? It's like, you're actually.
actually asking? <gasps> I love caramels. <laughs> Ooh, that smells good. Uh, wedding cake. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Of course. <laughs> I'm waiting for this. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. 